this young lady is going to entertain us with this video but not before I give you a bit of bio about this luscious beauty that entertained us and I say that as a gay person absolutely stunning looking to look at beautiful to listen to one of the best female singers on stage today in the music industry and then she went on to represent Eurovision for Israel and rightly so because she in my estimation was the up and coming like a snake hissing at all the contestants and working her way through to win with her dance routine and unicorn and catchy song the public's imagination wasn't she absolutely brilliant and if you're one of the very few in the world that haven't seen Noah singing unicorn at Eurovision go check it out on the Eurovision channel she's phenomenal now there's controversy with the winner of Eurovision this year, but not with Noah. Noah is one of those people that is an all round, the lucky star is shining on her. Noah, if you've any magical gold dust to sprinkle on my channel and me, please, please, please send it my way because I am growing and growing and growing. Thank you. And people do like and comment. Thank you. And they are subscribing. Yeah, hey. So, but I need more of what you have because this particular girl, everybody, is young, not just beautiful, not just a model. She's a singer, songwriter, actress, dancer, brand ambassador, television host, and a reality show judge. So instead of the judges judging, she went up and said, this is the reason I'm a judge. And I wanna see you back next year, young lady, singing for Israel, come on, I need more of you. They are gonna be so tired of me I've already got my next reaction lined up for the next two songs I want to feature of you over the next couple of weeks. So you'll be featuring a lot just in the next couple of months, never mind 2023. Now, her song Unicorn in 2023 was placed third. Hi. <sighs> and people are asking why. And you came behind Italy, which was okay. I never reacted on Italy's song this year. I'm just getting a little, it's like Ireland winning the competition seven times. I'm just getting a little tired of ballads. And I like upbeat music. And a couple of years ago when Spain entered a similar artist in Lux and did a dance routine, I just said, you know what? She's going to revolutionize Eurovision and a lot of ladies now incorporate dance routines within the song and one of the things that Noah did was do you want to see me dance and she danced so she can dance sing and she's a hostess with the mostess she's singing gone gone is a song and I just want to bring up what it says about the song I'm sorry I'm so excited to have her on my on my channel I'm actually forgetting what I'm doing here so Noah said of the song, I'm excited to share a song that hopefully a lot of people who have struggled in toxic relationships can relate to. It makes me feel empowered and I hope it helps people channel their independence and freedom. Here's to no more toxic relationships and negative energy in 2023. Noah, peace, love and unity is what's on my channel's main picture and you are more than welcome with that particular way of thinking of coming onto this channel because i need more of what you have to offer and why does everybody say i say that this is why
There's going to be a lot of people. I'm going to say this. No, there's going to be. I don't want any any distractions, so I'm going to say this straight to you. No, there's going to be a lot of people relating to that, and I'm one of them. That is the first time I promise you I've, I've listened to it in its entirety. But I did see a lot of images. I did read a lot of things about your input into the video, how you were so excited about Gone and your thought process came, came alive. And the technical input into the video, I have to say everybody, it was like an avatar film. Think about that, where they have people doing facial expressions and then they characterize it with the men of the avatar characters i saw you being you know held and you doing almost acrobatic type things and in honor of you Noah, i'm going to do an extraordinarily difficult thumbnail but one i'm going to enjoy doing to accompany that that warrants a special thumbnail to attract people to your music and i'm going to do that now, Noah, that's going to cost you a brand new car. So get on the telephone. You're a TV host. You're worth a lot of money. And say, CC, what car do you want? After seeing that thumbnail, I will pay you anything, anything to get the copyrights of it. Although the copyrights are yours. It comes from your video. But that's all, all just me having a little bit of fun. I have to say, and I'm going to say this. You're out there, my ex, not my current partner, my ex. And I dedicate the words, the song, all of it to you. 
and I'm sure there's a lot of people going to say yes we have an anthem we have an anthem wrote by Noah, Noah Carell for all the exes I'm glad you're gone see the smile all those lovely beautiful white teeth I'm really glad he is gone let's get back on to the song before time runs out it says my favorite thing about you is you're gone oh it's definitely wrote for me and I don't have to hear you going on and on truly for me my favorite thing about you is I'm no longer around you yeah my favorite thing about you is you're gone <laughs> Oh, I don't need to explain those words to all of us out there who've been wronged by an ex-partner who walked away thinking, wow, I had a very violent ex-partner. He was a discredit to himself and his upbringing because his mother was a pure lady. His siblings were crazy. He pointed the finger at everybody. I didn't realize I was dating a narcissist a psychopathic narcissist because I didn't understand the word until Lady C's channel when she was talking about her mother being one I went good God I dated one so thank you Lady C and your channel shout out to you and Dan Wooten and everybody else because after this video I always tune into the Lady C channel she's an aristocrat She's from aristocracy in England and she's Jamaican born and reared. She has two adoptive Russian boys from Russia. She's very cosmopolitan and very knowledgeable and one of the most incredible people ever. Check her out because we need to get back onto this. I'm just reading the words now and I feel like shouting them at the top of my voice. I know a lot of people are going to relate to this. My favorite thing about you is you're dead. And when she says that, that's when, when you see her sitting in the car thinking about that, I thought, God, it seems so real. I'm not surprised because the lyrics marry with the video. You're reliving the moment, aren't you, Noah? Somebody badly wronged you. I'm sorry to hear. Not that I've heard, but I know they did because these lyrics is about you and an ex. But you're, you're talking the talk for all of us. And then it says, my favorite thing about you is how good I am without you. Yeah, my favorite thing about you is you're gone. And I'll tell you, I'll give you an example of that. When my violent, repulsive ex left, I breathed for the first time mentally and I healed physically after allowing that decrepit person to beat me. I allowed it because I felt if he got it out of his system, then surely he would realize what he's doing. And I'd rather have it done to me than a stranger. And I thought a bit of psychology would happen here, but it didn't. He just continued, continued, continued that path and slept with everybody that moved and their boyfriends and their friends. And it became a mess. So I shook myself down emotionally and physically. Woof, no way. So it continues i used to be the way i used to love the way you kiss me and now i love the way you you miss me now i used to pray pray you would stay stay for so long boy i was wrong yes i'm with you on that now my favorite thing about you is you're gone amen it takes a lot when you're in a relationship toxic to say goodbye and i'm a big strong man this is a skinny little nothing but on a good day I saw the goodness I wanted more of it I desired more of it so I put up with all the badness and then I started to lose my own self-respect friends around me my dignity and that's when this verse comes into because I'm going to skip because I don't want to run out of time and my favorite thing about you is your eyes don't we always fall in love the eyes two opposites attract the eyes my current partner has brown i love them baby brown eyes i have blue so opposites attract i understand that sentiment and how they get to watch me walk away from all your lies and that is what my ex got i did i managed to walk away from his constant lies 
and how he psychologically had everybody convinced I had the problem until I orchestrated a trap. Does Noah speak about something like this? Let's see. And I'll tell you about it before the end of the lyrics. My favorite thing about you ain't the world I built around you. Don't we always build, we always get somebody on our lives and we put cotton wool and we build them up and build them up and they're just like this. And I'm talking about our exes, by the way, not about people in loving relationships, those who are in toxic. When we realize they're toxic and walk away and they're gone and we realize, never again. I'm just saying, they do, they sit with the cotton wool around them and we just, mm, what do you want? You want me to get you a cup of coffee? You want me to feed you? You want me to pat your head? You want me to clean you? Unbelievable. Bend over, I'll clean your higher end as well, where you speak from normally. Uh, it's all coming back. And then it continues, it repeats. And, but it comes to this, and you're never coming back no more, and I'm never going to let you in, because I'm better than I was before. You are. You never let them back in, and I certainly didn't. I shut down for many years and said, that is it, till I get my life back. And when I got my life back, I sat one day, and I, I knew I was ready for the next step, because I saw couples walking past, and, and I met old friends of mine who found a new partner and said you can too you've got a great personality you're an amazing guy you're a warm loving guy and if you can put up with what you did you deserve a better guy and I found one karma came back to bless me with my current relationship so it does come back and I've still got that little bit to tell you in a minute it says you're never coming never coming never coming my favorite thing about you is you're gone well, I gave a go and away present. This is the story now to finish this video. I'm just going to flick up and make sure I've got enough time. I'll, I'll say it in one minute. I gave a go and away present where I invited a lot of friends knowing he would not like it. He was anti-woman almost, even though he had a sister. And I, I respected the sister, but you could tell the way he looked at the sister's husband there was almost a sickness in him. It, it, it was just, I just hated to where his eyes were looking at times. But I set up a trap full of women. And he hated it that much because he thought they would bring their boyfriends, boyfriends bring their male friends, and he would have a candy party where he would taste the different varieties of candy throughout the night and kept me busy entertaining. Well, role reversal, it was just women. He went crazy. None of his friends were invited. No, we were allegedly moving apartment to a new apartment that he had bought. Not we. Think about that. He had bought. Because an Arcosis always wants to be in control. So what happened was all the women got drunk. We laughed. We partied. And he couldn't handle it. And one of the girls did the old self-defense got into an awful row with her and boom on the floor and he left the party when he thought he was coming back the following morning I had already left with the girls it was planned to my new life to my new apartment and I walked away and said goodbye without him even knowing and that's what you do you walk with your feet if you're in one thanks for listening take care